What is up guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 26 of our Making a Discord Bot in Python series. Today we are going to be making a um, self-roll system for our Discord Bots. Now, uh, the way we are going to be doing this might be a little bit different than how uh, you may have expected. Uh, we are going to be doing this with the use of buttons and interactions. Now, uh, most bots usually do self-rolls with reactions, and while that is still possible, and I will make a video on that in the future, uh, I do want to uh, make a tutorial on buttons as well, because I had some people in my comment section on my last uh, few videos ask me to do a tutorial with self-rolls and buttons. So, uh, that is what we are going to be doing today. Now, I do already have a tutorial for buttons on their own. I believe that is, like, part 19 or part 20. So, uh, not too long ago, it is fairly recently. So, if you'd like to watch that video first, you can go ahead. Although, it is not very different than what we are going to be doing today, just minus the uh, roll part. Now, uh, you can just watch this video and you can just follow along with what I'm doing. So, uh, the first thing we want to do is actually make our uh, rolls we want to be given to uh, a user when they click the button. Now, I've already done this off camera. I have a blur pool, a green, and a red roll already created. Now, uh, do make sure that your bots roll, or uh, just the YT bot roll, is above these um, color rolls or the rolls you want the bot to assign. Because if you have it um, under the rolls like this, the bot will not be able to assign them and it will run into a permission error. So do be sure that the bot's roll is above all the rolls that you want the bot to be able to assign to a user whenever they click the button. Now we can go ahead and exit out of that and we can actually start coding. So uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, make a class for our buttons. And that's do that, it's just class. And then we can uh, name it whatever we want. Name it self rolls. And uh, in here, we're gonna pass in discord.ui.view. Um, like that and then we are going to uh, press def thunder init thunder and then we're going to pass in self and then we are going to type in super dot thunder init thunder and then we are going to uh, pass in timeout and we're going to set it to none and that is it so far now another thing we need to do is actually we need to sync these commands since we will be messing with interactions since that's how uh, buttons work. So to do that we're going to go in our on ready function here and we're just going to type in await client.free.sync and uh, that is it. Now we can go back to our class and we can go ahead and make our button. Now, uh, to make a button, it is actually fairly simple. It's just a few lines of code. To do that, it is at discord.ui.button, like that. And then we can pass in a label for the button, and I'm gonna make it red. And then we can pass in a style or a uh, color for the button. And to do that, it is just style equals discord.button style with a capital B and a capital S. And then we are going to type in dots, and then you can select any of these uh, styles you want. Now, since this is going to give you a red roll, I want the color of the button to correspond with that. So uh, I want it to be red. So the button itself will also be red. And that's it. Now we can make our function like normal. So let's see. Def, uh, red color. I'm going to pass in cell, and then I'm going to pass in interaction. And I'm going to pass in button with a capital B. And then this time, instead of a lowercase b like I did up here, I want to have a uppercase b is there. And we can go ahead and indent. Now, uh, to actually give the roll to the user that presses the button, we need to first get the roll. And to do that, I'm going to uh, just create a variable here called uh, red roll. I'm going to set it equal to getscore.utils.get. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass an interaction here. Interaction.guild.roles. I'm going to put a comma. And I'm going to type in name equals and then the name of our role, which is red. Now, uh, this is case sensitive, so be sure that um, 
you type it in exactly as it's called, even if it has capital or lowercase le letters, make sure you do type it in just like that. So now we have the role. Now we just need to give it to the user. So await interaction dot user dot add roles. And then we can go ahead and just uh, type in red role, just like that. And we are done. Now uh, to make our other two role buttons, we can just uh, copy and paste this. Just like that. And we just change a few things here. So change this to green, like this green, and make sure this is green as well. And we want to uh, change the uh, function's name to green so that way it doesn't conflict with the other one. And then for this one, it's going to be blurple. So I want to change the color of the button to blurple as well. Change the role name to Blurple, and then change the function name to Blurple. And uh, we also want to give um, the green role in this one, and I actually need to change this to green role, and then change this to Blurple, and then change this to the Blurple role as well. So that's it. So we have all three of our buttons made. Uh, like I said, it was fairly simple. Now we need to make the command that will actually display these buttons on the screen. So to do that, it's just at clients.tree.command. Uh, make sure this is outside of your class, by the way. You don't want this to be indented and be inside your class. You want it to be on the outside instead. So at client.tree.command. Then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, give it a name and we're going to just call it self roles. Uh, make sure it's all lowercase because uppercase letters are not allowed in the name. And then we're going to give it a description. And uh, for description, uppercases are allowed. So we are just going to put um, gives, uh, yeah, give yourself a neat and colorful role. And we can go ahead and make our function like normal. So sync def uh, self role. We're going to pass in interaction. Just like that. And then we are going to type in await interaction dot response dot send. We're going to pass in content and we're going to set it equal to click the button corresponding to the color or to the role color you want. And after that we need to um, pass in view and we're going to set it equal to the class. And we're actually going to uh, call that class so self roles and then to call it we just add the parentheses at the end. And uh, that's it. So um, we have done everything we need to do. Now let's go ahead and run it. And now uh, it should be good to go. All right, so far so good. Now let's go ahead and test this out. So our bot is online. And again, as you can see, I have no roles on my uh, user here. So no roles at all, just to show you that this does work. And uh, now I'm going to type in slash self roles and it's given me all three of these buttons. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the uh, red button and show it again, no rolls. Go ahead and click this red button here and it's loading. And as you can see, we do have the red roll. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm now going to click the green button and let it load and finish. And it gives us the green roll. I'm going to go ahead and exit that out. And now we have no rolls again. And then we are going to hit the blurple button for last. And we have it. We have been given the blurple button. And you can also stack these rolls as well. So by clicking the red and the green button, we can stack all of these rolls on top of each other. And as you can see, I have all three now. So uh, this does work. Now, one little issue that uh, still happens is this little warning message at the bottom that says this interaction has failed. Um, 
The only reason it says that is because we haven't actually did anything with this a specific interaction we have created here. Uh, all we really did was just click a button and uh, have it give us rolls. Uh, so this does work, it's just this little message here. It doesn't really mean anything for this specific um, uh, thing we're doing. But uh, in the future, you might want to worry about this little message here, but for today, it doesn't really matter. Although it might be a bit annoying, but uh, we can just look past that and just appreciate that our uh, self-roll system here does indeed work. So uh, that is it for this video. All we did was we synced our commands, create a class with our three buttons, and then, uh, and then uh, buttons. each button will give us uh, its own unique roll. And then we create our slash command to actually display those buttons on the screen. And uh, yeah, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love videos like this and like to see more in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Leave a like and leave a comment down in the uh, comment section telling me what you would like to see next. Uh, if you have any problems with your code or you just simply want to hang out with me and nearly 400 other people, be sure to uh, join my Discord server. I'm looking to hit 500 members by uh, May of this year. So go ahead and join. Can't wait to see you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.